Hello again and welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I'm Hello Good Game, your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena deck guide video, playing standard best of one mythic rank with Bant Life Gain. Mono Red, it is a sad week for you. This will be my second life gain deck this week that has been dominating the meta due to the influx of Mono Red. We're going to break down the deck list in depth, discuss the strategies and synergies, showcase this against the best decks and players in game, wrapping up with our final thoughts and deck review within today's video. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to help support myself as a creator. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's take a look at the deck list. It's a new lap record. Here we are. Bant life gain is uh, what we'll be talking about today, I suppose. Uh, building around Shauna Purifying Blight, right? This is really the only reason we are including uh, blue within the deck, but we can't ignore the value that it provides, right? It's worth the splash. We do not mind. It's going to allow us to incorporate a little bit of counter magic as well, which is pretty cool. And, um, you know, just a phenomenal card right now in the meta for three mana, a three, three with lifelink. Now this is a legendary creature, sadly, but you'll see why at the beginning of your end step, you may pay X. If you do draw X cards, say what? Uh, X can't be greater than the amount of life gained this turn. Uh, this will allow you to draw literally seven cards a turn because it is a life gain centric deck. Uh, not only does she have lifelink with a 3-3 base, but the rest of the deck is going to generate a lot of life for us turn by turn as well, which is great. Building around the Voice of the Blessed as well, a two mana 2-2 two, two, whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Four counters, Flying and Vigilance. Ten counters, add Indestructible to the list. Uh, what a powerful payoff spell for life gain. Gaining life through the Gallag Readers. Two mana, one, one. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, choose one of the three not chosen this turn. Gain two life, baby. Create a tap treasure token or put a plus one, plus one counter on the Gallag Readers. All great options, but, you know, we like the treasures to ramp out. We like the uh, life gain, obviously, to survive and rub Mono Red's face in it. And uh, the plus one counters are pretty cool, too, if you've got nothing else going on. And many times we'll have all three of these trigger non-legendary that we can stack, just like the Lunark Veteran, a 1-1 one, one for 1. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, gain 1 life. And uh, it is a creature-based deck, filling the field, going wide, gaining a lot of life, and just, uh, you know, out-tempoing our opponent while simultaneously drawing mass amounts of cards to, you know, offset a field wipe and allow us to rebuild quite quickly. All right, so the veteran can come back from the grave via the Disturb for two as the Luminous Phantom, a 1-1 one, one with flying, and whenever a creature leaves the battlefield, uh, you're going to gain one life if it was under your control. Um, and if the Phantom dies, it gets exiled, so you can't read Disturb over and over, right, as all Disturb cards do. All right, so uh, aside from that, we will be utilizing Archangel Elspeth for four as a four loyalty planeswalker, plus one ability, allowing us to create a 1-1 one, one, Toucan Sam with lifelink, minus two putting two plus one plus one counters on target creature, it's going to gain flying and become an angel, which is pretty cool. And finally, minus six, returning all non-land permanents with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And well, that's our entire deck. So very, very good synergy here. The plus one is nice because it will trigger the veteran. It will trigger Gallagheriters and it makes a life link creature itself. The minus two for the two, two counters, great on the voice, just gets it up there, gets it going. Um, you know, you can give something else flying as well as it will organically grab it. You never know what the situation will call for. And if you get a minus six, you got stuff in the grave, just go for it. Steel Seraph is another three drop, but of course you can cast it for six if you don't want to prototype it early on. A uh, three, three for three mana or a five, four for six mana. Either way, it will have flying and at the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature uh, that you control will gain your choice from flying, vigilance, or lifelink until the end of turn. Uh, again, you know, different situations will call for the uh, different abilities here. But at the end of the day, we love the life gain. Flying's pretty cool too. And, you know, if you suspect like a wandering emperor, what? You know, invasion, maybe you need to block, who knows, uh, via the vigilance. I know I said evasion, but uh, evasion for flying, vigilance for whatever you want to call that. Um something cool. <laughs> Ao is an honorary angel as discussed in previous videos, even though we're not uh, utilizing angels in the deck here. Five mana, five, four, flying vigilance. Beautiful. When it dies, you get to put plus one, plus one counter times two on all your creatures. 
or uh, look at the top seven and get any number. Well, I guess it would be four total. Well, I guess it could be zero drops. Topter's not in deck though. Uh, with mana value four or less, right? Uh, creatures. And uh, you know that can be really good within the deck as well as we can play multiple permanents for one card, replacing uh, our field presence. Okay, so that's not it though. Unfortunately, I do have a few more things to say. Thalia, Guardian of Thrabin for two. It's a 2-1 with first strike, non-creature spells cost one more to cast, right? It is a creature-based deck, so if we can tax our opponent and slow them down, that's great as well. And our counter magic will also come in the form of a creature, so we can get those ETBs and the life gain going. The Hermit is a 2-mana, two 2-1, two and can sacrifice for one blue to counter non-creature spell unless its controller pays three. Sunfall, uh, farewell. You guys know the deal. This is going to take care of it for us. Thank you for the follow. Of course, we can replay this from the Grave for Disturb 3, just like we would the Lunar Veteran. How did he know? It's 2-2 two, two with flying and non-creature spells you control can't be countered. Not that we care. And of course, if it would die, it's going to go to exile instead. All right, so that is the name of the game. I believe we've talked about everything in deck other than the Defector Might. It's a 1-1 one, one with Toxic 1. Can't block, can pay one Phyrexian White, either one white mana or two life. Choosing a color, another target creature we control will gain Toxic 1. Hexproof from the chosen color, as well as the ability to uh, be unblockable from those colors, right? Very, very nice. As well as Royal Treatment, instant speed. Uh, creature's going to gain Hexproof until the end of turn, as well as get the Royal Row. Roll. <laughs> Uh, plus one, plus one counter, and ward one. So that ward one is going to stick around, make that permanent harder to remove in the future as well, which is quite nice. We have a lot of pain lands to support the three color deck within, you know, a fairly aggro archetype. However, there's so much life gain in the build that we don't really worry about any consequence of it. Um, you know, we're facing off against these other aggro decks with pain lands and still not caring, um, which is a great feeling, right? Uh, the meta is aggressive and it's very easy to take advantage of uh, and that what we'll be showcasing again more this week uh, just to help people who are frustrated with all of them on all red it's like there are answers you don't just have to you know be punished for the next three months and be frustrated right so uh, this is a, a cool solution i think of course we've had other life gain decks this week check those out um and yeah just enjoy kick back relax like comment subscribe let's play some games Going first, one, two, three is beautiful. Might on one, voice on two, Shauna on three. Can't complain. Protection following. You know, our worst fear is that they remove the might, I suppose. Mmm! If they have another for the voice, so be it. Whoa! Settle down, bro. I'm going to play slow since we top deck with voice and have protection. And then we can do the same next turn with Shauna. Because apparently they're removal happy. I might change this for safekeeping. Two. I'm always worried about the monstrous rage. Let's take our turn. Oh, one green source only. This I did not think about. It definitely prioritizes the removal though. We're at 17 still as well. Torch it. Lightning strike from the treasure. Oh! <gasps> they must have more removal. What's that last card? If it's not removal? 
we win. I'm gonna come out and say it. Well, they could draw. And it could be Witch Doctor Frenzy attack for three. Well, that's not enough reduction. Okay, they're going for it. No block. Oh, please do. I guess the other way would have been two life. What am I doing? Bro. My bad. Still only draw one though, right? But two life is good. 17 life. Uh, honestly, I have a backup. Right? So we just like don't care? We're at 17. We just not care anyways. And just attack back. Oh, that's disrespectful, dude. That is just straight up disrespectful to the mono red deck. Well. Sit for three. Mitigate almost all of their damage while simultaneously drawing three cards. Thank you. Ooh, hello. A few additional lands as well. Not any creatures unless we're gonna double play, which I guess we could just for ETB life gain. Oh yeah, perfect. I wonder if they have a monstrous roll. Uh, no block. But you can either pump in or cast a spell. I mean, I'm not going to take the damage, so cast the rage on something else. All right. We like it. Here's uh, three life. It's fine. Just attack for an additional three life. Six on the turn. And we will draw for four. Green land up. Oh, yes. That's a good looking hand, Larry. Eh, nah. We'll go for it. We, I just don't care, is the thing. I just don't care. Nor do I feel we even need to. It's not like a reckless thing at all. It's just, why bother? You know? This just seems easier. Good game. It is the way. Going first... I'm going to mulligan. It's a life gain deck. You know. I don't know why we're pulling doubles like this. Very frequent. We do get lucky. We can toss one now. Oof. Not right on the play. We love it. Let's see if we can punish them. Nice two, three. Let's see if we can find four. Cacophony with the plus one. Oh, doubling down, dude. When it dies, any target. They would just kill it. And when it, they can sacrifice it. So 
So we're just gonna put life gain and go. You want it? It's all yours. Yeah. I know, they then kill it, it's whatever. Uh, but then they're gonna attack. Probably, and just kill, you know. This way we get life gain. The other way we don't. Hey! That's pretty rude. Fourth line off the top's not gonna help at this point. You know, of course, the one time I can get it. Maybe we can, uh, you know, send some trickery our opponent's way. Potentially build up our field presence before the Planeswalker. Maybe they sacrifice on it. Or just cast a spell on it needlessly. Double land, don't care. I don't know if they're gonna stack it. They do. Wowzers. Thank you. That works out quite nicely for us. Helmet's in play. Thalia is strictly a defensive creature at this point. We'll see if we can get an Archangel out. Impulse. Oh, that is the kind of luck that I would have. Four lands in a row. You gotta be kidding me. I can hear it from here, homie. Blade in play. Again, strictly playing defensively. Looking for our fifth land. Hermit is down. I repeat, Hermit is down. Thalia is down. I repeat, Thalia is down. <laughs> no attack. Archangel able to play now uh, because Thalia is gone. Uh, we do like this. Here comes the infinity blocks. And I will attack. Grab three, no draw. We just like to. You know, make hay while the sun is shining. Could be a monstrous rage. Let's pull it from their hand and see. Nope, just free block. Life gain. Hit for three. I mean, by all means, go for it. Killing our veteran. Maybe we should have both done a lot later. You think, HGG? Ah, whatever. We're going to draw anyways. There's so much life that we don't need to hold up a defensive plan. Just slam in and draw some cards for later. Oh, are ya? Oh, are ya? No defensive plan. Hey, HGG. Stop it. You leave me alone. No, I mean, I think we should be okay. Uh, getting through the lands in our deck, you know, it's not like our draw engine's gone anywhere. We might lose the Planeswalker. Yeah, I would have taken the draw engine, but... You know, we've only got to be our own person. At the end of the day. Alright, well, plus Adelphia. I guess they're both slow, right? This is a blue that won't cost us life. Again, you know, just give me the life gain, huh? I don't care if you take the planeswalker, dude. Don't care. Uh, I'm gonna draw two, and then we can hold up evil, or just literally don't care. I literally don't care. It's a great uh, mindset against mono red. Like, if you can have a deck that doesn't need to care against mono red. I think you're like you're at a really good spot. I have to build my decks like this because I'm such a bad player. Um, yeah, I mean it's all yours. I'm just gonna keep my creature. It can block later. Right.
Or not. I mean, I like the attack as it compounds. Life gain out. Ayo River, we don't really need to draw anyway. <laughs> oh man, good game, Mono Red. We still love you. We still love you, but you, 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 you know, not anymore. Going first, you know, not the greatest turbo, but I think it's gonna be okay. Hello and good game. Swing for one. I mean, they're tapped out, right? Thalia is a go. Followed by our Steel Seraph. Right? You don't mind losing any life as well. We're going to gain it right back. Brah! They're down to 16. I guess we play a might. Third land out. I like to think that they're going to play a wedding announcement, but can't. Oh! Be a rude, bro. Makes me so sad. That's such a good card, dude. Swing for four, gain three life. Holding up who endures. Fourth land out. Immediately into the Emperor. Blue Might on taps, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm home. My judgment is final. Okay. Okay, okay. Kill the Emperor. I'm never done for good. I want to keep this to kill that. We're only getting to draw one anyways. We can only play one land anyways. I'm sure I'll regret that later. We'll see though. We'll see. We'll see. I think it'll be fine. Just don't cast Sunfall, okay? Deal? Interesting. Creatures for blockers, Hobby. Put it on the veteran, right? Spread your wings. Draw or blocker? I think it might be blocker. No draw. Five cards in hand. Okay. 
Hey. It's back, baby. That's pretty cool. They're tapped out, though. I'll block for sure. Oh, absolutely. Just chump blocker city. Right? Dunk on Ashiok one more time. Secondary blocker. Two, draw three. We like the draw. All right, that way if there is a Sunfall, we can still maybe remain in the game. No voice of the blast. Oh. They take my graveyard too. What? Why didn't they take my graveyard? They could have taken this Lunark. Back to drawing. Probably make a treasure. This is our fight to win. It's only draw one, I'm just gonna play a mic. Hopefully, it's not back-to-back -back field wipes. I mean, you know, sometimes it's there. Four cards in hand. You know, it's not, uh, you know, too bad. I guess they didn't take our graveyard because they're probably running more invasions for their own planeswalkers. And probably Walker versus Lunark, you know, there's maybe these cards are on different scales. <laughs> Interesting. Scry four. Only planeswalker into hand, so they can still look for a field wipe though, right? Oh. Okay, sorry, and I I was worried it was a uh, big wanderer. I was looking for you. I was looking for you. Alright. Paying life. Ian, we don't care about that. Literally at all. We're going to gain it back here, though. Pushing up this voice. It's going to take priority over everything. I guess I'll just draw three, I think. Well, no, because we don't want it killed. I was going to make that token a flyer, but I think this is fine. I'm just gonna kill the planeswalker easy. And uh draw three. We like to draw the cards, huh? We could actually draw four. That is gross. How many cards is this drawn? <laughs> That's crazy. 
Please just no field wipes, right? At least we have a full hand if it is, right? We can refold out. And that's why we run bands, it's like the draw engine is ridiculous, dude! I hope you're ready to lose. I mean, we have the might, right? So. May your blade Double toucan Sams. Your blade do the talking. I like it. Respect, homie. Good game. I mean, I was I'm, at this point. We're having fun, right? Like, we got all these things to do. <laughs> Opponent starting the match. Hello, and a good game. Mono red on the. Hmm. I don't want to lose this yet. We could always just... Oh no, we can't three drop it. What did I just do? No, I played the wrong land. We couldn't play Galagrange. Okay, I fucked up if they remove this. Pardon my language. I might just go steal Sarah. Okay. I mean, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to eat the removal, but I still want to maximize my drops. So we're gonna have to wait a turn. Which I am fine with. I might even just Elspeth minus on it. Push it to five. Alright, they've gone kind of crazy so far. Three cards in hand. They would need more removal. I'm taking the damage. You guys already know how the deck's played. We just don't care, homie. Go for it, dude. Hey. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Paying one life. It's okay. We get it right back. Swing for three up to 14. We now have a 4-4 four, four in play. Any point we can Elspeth minus. Okay. I mean, it's big damage. We can block the 1-1, one, one, I believe. Oh, this is a treasure. Lightning strike on Sarah. Good for you. Really good play there. Really, really heads up play. You're tapped out, so only one attack. You're going for it? Well, it's a lot of damage, right? We're like down to six. It's pretty good. Well, so is that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, we're, we're pretty far back. I think we're going to gain Vigilance here, though, so that's going to be super uh, duper helpful. But without that Steel Seraph, our job is a lot harder. Eight life. Squeeze not going to do it. You're tapping out for that, homie. Oh, good lord. See, and we just don't care. You're done. You're done. Um, three, four damage. You're tapped out. And we just don't care. Ooh. 
we have plenty of gas. They're all out, right? Opponent goes first. What could they play? Only paying, uh, well, hopefully no life. But we'll see. We'll see how this pans out, right? We always have to. The gaze. Interesting. It's a gin deck, obviously, right? Force a counter spell. Oh, this dominates their deck. They have to counter it. It happens. Three land. It's an aggro deck? No way. I love aggro decks. <laughs> Gala out. Lunark is a go. Gain two life, homie. Bailmore can definitely pump up the damage, so we need to be careful. Do you have double strike, dude? No double strike. At least. I was thinking it might be. Counterspell? It has to be. That's why they held mana. No! Three life. Thank you very much. Really getting most of the damage. Over 50% of what they dealt last turn. No, they could have flash one too. Just another gaze. Okay. That's fine. This is leaving their graveyard into exile. So if it is like a terror or a djinn and they're milling lands, that's, that's good for us. Decline, no land. Hopefully we can find our fourth. Play and protect. Well, let's take the draw. I'd like to keep that if we can. They will need another. We love the life gain. All right, they are putting in some damage, and we know they have a you know high burst capability. So let's uh, hold back, draw one. Nice. No block 19 life, you know, not worried. This is triple life, well, quad life game trigger, actually, because <laughs> the attack. Oh, not like this. Quad life gain, double draw. Oh, they have a shore up. Oh, I'm a fool. I'm such a fool. But they did it after. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's sad. I do that a lot. So don't worry, opponent. That's... My old mouse used to be really bad for double clicking. And stuff like that happened all the time. Hearth Elemental is there. I imagine that we're going to see the um, Talarian Terror as well. I'll bite. I mean, it's going to eat the spells. 
Did they fling it? Double strike. Yeah, okay, so that's what I was worried about earlier, right? We still get it. Right? Nice trade. Let's definitely go. Put it in. Put in that work, homie. Draw one. I like how it keeps track of how much life you gain to show your opponent. Just how much ground they're losing every turn. <laughs> Not only through the life gain, but also the draw, right? It's like double whammy. Good game, dude. I mean, it could be a bounce spell. All right, there's plenty of uh, things it could still be. We're gonna kill that elemental. That way, these uh, low lifes can get in. Going first, nice land, cool curve. Let's see if we can find a three drop. Oh, mono red. Big surprise. Big surprise. Ah, I hate King Life. What else do you do? Might can uh, enter without damage this turn. Let's see, now I don't mind. I think that's a good trade. Only paying one, but we gain it right back, right? So it's whatever. I have to pay one for Elspeth as well, but it's okay. Think, right? Lightning strike, that's good. They might take the land though. No, they take lightning. Well, I hope they use it to kill me this turn because that's going to be a 5 5 with life gain. Take that draw. If we're paying two life, we're paying two life. They're just gonna kill the mic, which I assume. They could have a second, and I would applaud that. Nice, homie. I wasn't kidding. Gain two life. And we have a life gain blocker, potentially, at 12. This is a close match. They have four cards left still. Three. No way. The sun always rises again. Bro. Players. Double life gain. Plus now what amounts to be triple life gain. Well, quad actually, because this is going to be another. Pretty good, right? Let's see if we can stabilize and sustain. That's not gonna do it, homie. Can they double permanent? Oh, that is gonna do it. Rah.
Squeeze coming back. They can push into Godric. All right, double life gain. Quad life gain with a flying blocker. All right, that's gonna be really important for us here. Grabbing an additional four life. They're to 10, we're at 12. Another squeak coming our way. Yep. I mean, we have the first strike block. Oh no, it's got the Kumano counter. Four, five, six, seven, ten damage. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have lethal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's in their hand? They can't cast it no matter what, Castalia. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Close, but no cigar mono red. Not today, homie. Opponent playing first? Hello, good game, good luck. Mono red on the play. Isn't it always? This is a top 1,000 mono red on the play. If anyone is going to beat us, here it is. Let's see how fast we can curve to five. All right, this isn't your average mono red player. This is someone who's uh, tuned in, dialed up. Tuned up, dialed in? I don't know. Um, yeah. Could be pretty bad here. And where some players... Oh, they do leave it alone. Only two attacks for four. Coast is clear. We're down to 10, though. Um, up to 11. Let's see if they have removal next turn. It could still be pretty grim. They probably just take the damage to 18, right? There's no reason to block this. I don't think. Yeah, not looking good. That's going to push Godric up. To potentially five. Uh, and then six, seven. That's a lot. Oh, I'm not sure if that's the right play. Maybe it is. You know, if we get the other two then, you know, down to two, probably just get lethal, right? Can't play this. Destroy evil is to kill that. We can't play that unless we attack first. All right, sometimes their damage output is high enough. They were on the play.
I should have played this first. What am I doing? It's only one life this way instead of two, though. That's actually probably better. It's gonna die anyways. Okay. What's that last card? There's no way! Legendary. Freaking legendary, dude. Down to two. Good game on red. You finally won one. You're lucky our land sucked. Yeah, that's why it's GG. That's why. All righty then. So throughout today's matches, we discussed how royal treatment could most likely be replaced with Tameo safekeeping. Uh, I love the life game that it provides. I think the indestructible is pretty cool as well, right? Um, and then, you know, maybe we're protecting the Elspeth potentially. Uh, doubtable, but, um, you know, there's pros and cons, right? We don't get the uh, plus one to stay there. Increase damage output. You don't get Ward 1 to hang out, right? Harder to remove. Um, but the life gain trigger, I think, is pretty cool uh, to utilize because maybe they're attacking and uh, you can actually push up your voices while putting Indestructible on something else. And, you know, that's a, a, a defense or, or maybe it's an attack. Who knows? Um, that they wouldn't be expecting, right? That instant speed combat trick uh, could be pretty cool. If you have any thoughts or opinions on the deck, don't hold back. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for taking the time. I truly appreciate it. Have a magical day. Join that community Discord if you'd like to continue uh, the conversation with me and uh, really any topic. I'm always down. But uh, yeah, just looking forward to seeing you soon in the next. Take care. Let's go.